Hey guys, my name is Em and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, it's going to be a cozy 24-hour readathon vlog. I love readathons and since today is the first official day of our summer holidays, honestly, this is just going to be super chill because I was feeling fine earlier. And then I was in Lidl and I just got so dizzy and ended up having a full-on panic attack in the middle of Lidl. It was not my finest moment, but we move, it's fine. So now we're here, I'm exhausted and I'm slightly dizzy, which is just amazing. But we are going to read. So the readathon starts at 7 p.m. tonight. It is currently just about 6 p.m. So I do have over an hour before the start, but I wanted to come on here and open the vlog and show you my TBR. I really don't know what I'm going to be reading, honestly, but I have a good few options. <laughs> Hi, Misty. Will we do our intro here? Okay, so the first book that I am currently reading is In the Ravenous Dark by A.M. Strickland. I don't actually know if I'm going to continue reading this or not. I'm really, really liking it and I'm not DNFing it or anything, but I don't know if I'm going to read it in this readathon. Though I'm 98 pages in, so maybe it would be a good idea to finish this one. What? I've moved over a little bit because Misty wants to sit with our intro too. So the other option for my TBR is Punk 57. Again, I feel like I would be able to read this book in a day because it's a romance, it's really fast paced and it's also not too too long. So I definitely feel like I would be able to read it or just another Kindle Unlimited book because they're all really fast to read and they're on Kindle. However, if I'm really dizzy, I don't really want to be staring at screens. Our final option on this TBR is one that just came in today and it actually just was published today and it is Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins read. You have no idea how excited I am for this book. However, I don't know if I'm going to read it in this readathon because I literally read the synopsis and I recognized the name Reva and I'm thinking that that is the surname of one of Evelyn's husbands. So I kind of want to reread this one first so that it's fresh in my mind and I remember all of the characters and know everything about it so that I can read this and then pick up on any easter eggs that she may have left or any like characters that she may have mentioned that are from this. I might reread this but I don't think I'm going to do that in this readathon. I think I'm might just do like a Taylor Jenkins read readathon or something. But yes, yeah, so that is my TBR. I'm not going to talk too much right now. I will update you again once the readathon starts. And I hope you get some cozy vibes. When you're watching this, if you took part in my readathon, let me know down in the comments how you did, what you enjoyed. Yeah, let me know how you are. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to grab a nice drink, a nice snack, and settle in for the video. Hey guys, so I just wanted to pop in before we get into even more reading content to show you this amazing package that I just got from TIJN Eyewear and I'm really really excited to show you. This is not sponsored but they did send me these glasses for free to review for them which I was so excited about because when they emailed me I was thinking like this is literally the brand of every single pair of glasses that I already owned that I had bought with my own money so you know I love them. So I want to show you what's in here. Look at how cute this packaging is. It's like a little suede. I love that so much and here are these sunglasses glasses. These are my absolute favorite sunglasses that I own now and I am absolutely obsessed with how they look. I will try to leave the link down in the description box. I love these so much and with the sun that we've been getting lately, so grateful to have these beautiful sunglasses that I can wear outside. Okay, next in this box we have another pair of glasses in this beautiful beige suede pouch. So here are the glasses. They're actually very, very similar to the sunglasses but they are blue light filtered glasses. I love blue light filtered glasses. You can even see in the camera how well they're like reflecting that light. I spend a lot of time editing, scrolling, reading, researching, typing, schoolwork, everything on my phone, on my laptop and these definitely help against headaches and other things that are caused by staring at screens such as tired eyes, dry eyes, everything like that. Love these so so much highly recommend like look how cute they look i feel so sophisticated okay and for our last pair of glasses we have this beautiful pulley container i love them and these are another pair of blue light glasses again as i said i don't have prescription glasses however i do suffer with really bad headaches and looking at screens makes it 10 times worse so these are amazing because obviously i'm not going to stop looking at screens and here are these glasses i really like these ones too they feel like more old-fashioned more vintage i really like them and there's something even more special 
special about this one. So obviously, you know masks are very important. And also we have coffee drinkers here. But what is the main problem with combining a mask and glasses? Well, it fogs up. But these pair of glasses have amazing, amazing anti-fog technology. And when I tell you, it is so good. Like I tried it on other glasses and they do fog up slightly. These ones don't fog up at all. So I will show you. I will put on my mask. You put them on. They do not fog up at all. You can do the same if you're drinking a cup of coffee. They work amazingly. I really, really like them. And yeah, thank you to TIJN for sending me these glasses. I truly love them. That is it. Hope you enjoyed the vlog and I just wanted to show you these. I will leave the link down below where you can get these glasses. Enjoy the video and thank you for watching. Okay, so the readathon is just about to begin. I have just sat down. I have the biggest headache and just I'm so dizzy and I hate this and it's like why did this happen just as the readathon starts? But you know what? We're thriving. We're gonna go with it. So the first book that I'm reading is Punk 57. I'm really excited to read this. I've heard amazing things. I haven't really heard any negative reviews about this one honestly. I'm really excited. Also I'm picturing Misha as Harden Scott. Don't know if that's correct or incorrect but that is who I see in my head when I'm reading this book and I'm okay with that. I'm on sprints with Soph and Bisma and we're just reading. <laughs> Hey guys, okay, it is just after 4 p.m. and I've been on my reading sprints for the past like two hours. I have the whole day to myself today. So I have been reading Punk 57 on these sprints. This is the third sprint and there's like three minutes left. I haven't read that much in this one, but in the other two I did read a lot. I'm currently on page 86 and this book is amazing. I think it's gonna become like a new favorite romance at least, if it's not like a favorite of all time. I'm loving the vibes already. It is so good. And there was one sentence that he said, I miss you every day. You're my favorite place. And I don't know why that made me so emotional, but it really did. Like, but I'm really liking this book. I can definitely see myself finishing it today. I'm just gonna not care that the readathon was supposed to end at seven because that's obviously not gonna happen. But we're just gonna keep going. And I kind of started at two, so we're just gonna keep going until tomorrow, I think. I have a couple things to do when these sprints are over because I'm gonna end them soon. And also, there's an announcement on Illumicrate and Fairy Loot at 5 p.m. So, pray for me. That is all I needed to say. I'm gonna need a little help with this question. guys okay it is now 7 p.m and i've just sat down i made myself dinner and then i watched a little bit of the friends reunion friends is such a nostalgic show for me it's just so comforting and i love seeing them like be friends in real life so i'm about halfway through that but it is two hours long so i'm gonna take a quick break and read some of punk 57 because again i'm really liking this and i can't wait to see where it goes i don't know if i've explained the premise of this book but essentially we have misha and ryan who are two main characters ryan is a queen bee in her school and Misha is after going through something traumatic and he transfers to her school but they've been sending each other pen pal letters for the past seven years since they were paired up in like a school project or something and they are in love with each other over letters but when they actually meet each other they are enemies they don't like each other at all Ryan does not know that it's Misha because he uses the name Mason in school yeah it's very interesting it is hate to love and I just can't wait to like get to the romance I'm not nearly halfway through because I'm only like 80 something pages in but it's quite a short book so hopefully I will be able to get halfway through today or finish it today we'll see but right now I have my ASMR room on and I'm going to sit and read for as long as I can 
Okay, so I just reached page 100 in Punk 57. I am in love with this book so much. Like, I can't even describe how much this book is just amazing. Like, I don't know what else to say. It's just so good. But what I came on to say is that I started this notebook and it's like a tiny little notebook that I'm putting my favorite quotes in from the books that I read. But obviously because I just started it like a few days ago, I didn't have one for my current read. So I just did a couple of my favorite books. I did a couple pages of off-campus quotes and then I did some for Sarah J Mass books and I did one from, from Blood and Ash but I'm going to try to like do a page per book that I read so I already have a good few from Punk 57 I have to say it's gonna be amazing like I highly recommend picking this up I haven't even gotten to the romance part but already I'm in love like that's how you know it's good like I want to collect all of Penelope Douglas's books because I just love them so much Hey guys, okay, so it is currently Saturday, so it's the next day, and it's actually 5 p.m. I guess this is turning into like a little bit of a weekend readathon, but I'm still calling it a 24 hour readathon because I'm trying to like count my time to reach 24 hours, if that makes sense. So it's a really warm day today. I'm just heading down to my grandparents' house to read in their garden because why not? I mean, I'm on page. 166 of punk 57 i left off on chapter 11 last night which everyone says was a really steamy chapter so also i did my nails last night and that is it also this morning i ordered some books which you will probably see in my next weekly reading vlog because it says that they're going to be here on monday and do i have anything else to update i don't know i made that tiktok feta cheese pasta and i have to have done it wrong because it was absolutely disgusting like i don't know what happened to it but i hated it so much but my cousin sent me a picture of hers that she has made and it looked divine so i definitely did it wrong but we'll see we'll try again <laughs> Hey guys, okay, so I'm coming on here to end out this video right now. It was kind of a weird 24 hour readathon, honestly, because I <laughs> didn't actually do it in 24 hours, but I'm still kind of calling it that because to me it was a 24 hour readathon that just went on several days. I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense to me. And we make our own rules here. I did actually manage to finish Punk 57 today, and I loved this book so much. I truly cannot recommend this enough. And I'm really proud of myself for finishing it in one weekend as well because I'm not the fastest reader, but I'm definitely trying to get faster at reading so I gave this one five out of five stars of course and please go pick this one up like it's it's so good it's the right amount of like steamy romance but also plot and also character development kind of like a mystery but not a mystery at the same time but I highly recommend this book it's not cringy Sophia read it too this weekend and we both loved it so much definitely a new comfort favorite read of mine and I really really liked it today it was such a warm day like it was like in the 20 degrees which for Ireland is practically unheard of and I ended up sitting outside for like the whole day on our bench and I read a lot of punk 57 I also tried to stay off my phone a lot because my screen time was just way too high so I think I got it down to like an hour today but yeah that is it for this video I hope you had some chill cozy vibes and let me know in the comments what you read did you read anything or just your last read or your last five star book so yeah I hope you liked this video comment the rainbow emoji if you watched to the end thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video